these are these are nice samples. Eight of them, uh, seven of them are rocks, uh, are soy samples, and two of them are mole. One of the mole is military green. Was okay. Which one is mole? This two. Uh, just a minute. These two. You don't know it. Okay. okay these these are two are mole. These seven are. Soy. Soy. Oh yeah. Soy samples. See it now. And mold. These two are mold, uncoated. So we're gonna coat this one with gold so that we will get good pictures of SEM. This is a gold spider chamber. And gold. The gold target is here. You see that? Yep. So I put sample in here. So I put sample around here. The position is so that it's under the gold, like this, under the gold target. Then position this uh, cylinder into the center of the base because it slides and then it can pinch the gasket. So you put position in the center and then you just close it. When you close it, make sure that it's, it's underneath because sometimes when they close it, it go like this, okay? You're not gonna get the vacuum okay. because you have yeah. to make sure that it's fall down. Okay, so you turn on the oven. Oven gas. Oven gas. Boom. And usually you don't, you just need a little bit of positive pressure. So right now you cannot adjust it because the gas is not, the, uh, there's no flow. So you cannot adjust, but you just need only a positive pressure, that's all. Okay, now to turn the machine on, this is a switch on and turn on the pump. Oops. Yeah. Can you hear the pump running? These are the pressure reading. We have to pump until the pressure comes down to from the atmospheric pressure to about 50 millitoles. Okay. This is needle valves. So you have to manually open. So that the gas will flow in. Okay, so you turn it to the left to open the needle valve. Yeah. Left open, right close. Yeah, see. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Whatever it is. Now, if this one is off, it means that there is there is no channel of gas going to the chamber okay this mm -hmm. one is mean up so it doesn't matter whether you open or close this one oh if it's off if this one is off okay okay so we pump it down you see what happens see it doesn't matter these three are solenoid valves we may use only one the sputter one and the off one that's all Once you pump the pressure down low enough, if you hit this one, there's an opening and the argon gas can lodge through. And if it's over pressure, this one come on automatically. Okay? So, so when you hit the spider, it means that you flush the chamber with argon gas. And once so we over, go Pump it down, so we pump have a it vacuum, down. and then we yeah. flush it with agar. And we flush with agar. And now we are pumping we it do, down again? Yeah, we do about two or three times. Okay. Okay, look at the flush again. I'm going to flush again. Usually when you flush it, you, you want the pressure to come down a little bit. So, I will flush only twice. And then I'm gonna close this. So and nothing no happened. Can go in no, anymore? yeah. No, this one no argon can go in because this one yeah. is on. So you just close it.
I close it almost completely closed, okay? Mm -hmm. And then if you hit this one, there's a gas left in the line, so it's yeah. still over pressure. Okay. But this time you should be able to to maintain this bottom button. Okay, you let the pressure come down a little bit. And if you hit here, so right now it's open, but since this needle valve is closed, so there's no gas going. Okay. So now when the pressure comes down to about uh, 20 millitoles, actually, now you want to leave the oven gas in, so you open the needle valve a little bit. No, not yet. You have to maintain the oven pressure. So right now I open the needle valve. You have to do it slowly because the response is slow. is steady. Four or five is fine. Four or five LEDs. One, two, three, four, five. That's good. This is too much. So you close it a little bit. And wait. Four to five LEDs, that is 50. Yeah, a little bit. Maybe 50. Between 50 to 70. So it's not uh, really accurate. Millitoles, yeah. I hate the pressure units. They have too many. Yeah. You can turn it on, but if you turn the the plate, this means you should you should um, take longer time because it takes time to come around underneath the oven gas. Okay. So Since the flip, the, huh? the, the, the button yeah. just there is yeah. turning the and plate. you can adjust okay. this. You adjust the speed. Okay. Okay. So this is speed adjusting. And this is just the switch to turn it on. Okay. So right now I'm gonna try to position. Okay, it's underneath, so okay. that I don't. I so this is only seconds. for if you have a sample that's bigger than the gold. Yeah, bigger than the gold. Okay. So we set up the time here. It's 23 seconds, maybe 25. Let me see. 25 seconds, 24 seconds. It doesn't matter. <laughs> okay. The pressure is good. We're ready to go. So. The next step is we're going to start it automatically. So it's going to time is start counting down from 24 to 0. And once you hit this uh, start button, you have to increase the you have to increase increase the current to the cathode to 45. Okay. Turn it out. And that is the plasma. Okay. Good. So it's that countdown. So I have nine, seven, dun, 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 dun. zero. Done. And then once it's finished, you turn this one up to zero. You decrease the current to zero. You can open this. Okay, you flush the system with argon and immediately you should turn it up because it's gonna check it out. Turn this one up, turn this one up, you're done. It doesn't really look that gold. No, it is, but it does gold in there. Okay, we will see.